let's go ahead and do a leak test now with our equipment, with our electronics. Um, and we can also put on our, our glasses and look at refrigerant uh, or dye presence in this vehicle. There's the black light. And I can see a tiny bit of old residual leaks. But nothing I would say is fresh. And sometimes there can be other substances, coolant or whatever, that can fool you and make you think. That's about all the refrigeration system we can see, short of bringing, lifting up on the vehicle and looking at the back of the compressor fittings. Now, for sniffing, remember the key to accuracy on a electronic leak detector is fresh batteries, the tip being clean. You also want to go underneath the fittings as well as on top. Picking up a little bit around my, my gauge couplers. I'll look around where the orifice tube fitting is for a quick disconnect. And if we could access the evaporator, typically by pulling out a resistor network, or here's a sensor over here for evaporator temperature, anywhere where you can pull a part out to get to the unit. To get an idea basically how much leak sounds like, let's expose this to a little deliberate refrigerant leak. There's a leak, okay? just from the Schrader valve open just for a second as I pop that loose. 